Hey guys, it's me and today I'm here with a new installment of Am I Gonna Buy This? A series in which I talk about products that were announced, launched, and sneak peeked from the past month and talk about whether or not I am interested in picking anything up, if I did pick anything up, if I tested anything, am I gonna anti-haul it, am I gonna roast it? we'll figure it out along the way so today we're going to be talking about everything that happened within like the beauty space and whatnot in terms of releases in the month of october october was a bit of a busy month we had like more holiday launches be announced we also had some halloween launches come out too and i'm not going to touch on every single thing that has come out and everything i think you guys probably have noticed that with this series since i've brought it back that i don't cover everything that gets announced and launched. I know I don't normally come on to this channel in particular looking very comfy like I am today. Like I'm just wearing a hoodie and pajama bottoms today. I got my hair pulled back into a bun. Yesterday was Halloween. I worked yesterday. I did grocery shopping yesterday. I am tired. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get on into talking about these new launches and announcements and releases and things like that. But before we do so, if you guys are new here to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and also when you're down there, definitely give this video a thumbs up because that'll help me out a lot. All my links are down in the description box below, which are the links to my Twitter, Instagram, and my music channel. So definitely check me out on those places if you are interested. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Started. So what I do is then I go on to Instagram and there are two pages that I pull from and those are Trend Mood and My Makeup Radar. Those are the two pages that I pull releases from and then I'll even like pull from like some brands pages as well if I follow that particular brand and they will post a link in launch and whatnot on there. I'll talk about them that way too. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start out by talking about a new fragrance launch and this is from Dolce & Gabbana and this is the Devotion Eau de Parfum. They also released, I think right around the same time because I know, for those of you who don't know, I work in the beauty retail space and at my job we got both Devotion and Q at the same time. I don't have a post for the Q but I do have this one for um, Devotion and let me just say I don't like either of them. I do like Devotion more than Q. Q is just weird. Q is a weird one and this one it's it's okay. It's not my favorite though. I love the bottle though. The bottle is beautiful. But the key notes in here, you're going to have candy lemon, orange blossom, and vanilla. Like I said, it's okay, but it's definitely not really my thing. Next up we have the holiday launch from Smashbox, which I've never seen them do a holiday launch before. Or maybe I have, I don't know. Also, fun fact, I've been working in this industry for two years now, um, and my previous job carried Smashbox. My current job doesn't. Um, the company in general carries Smashbox, but my location doesn't. But my previous job did carry Smashbox, and I never saw them do, like, anything for holiday at all, or at least I don't remember it. Smashbox wasn't really big at my previous job at all and everything so it wasn't really a brand that people gravitated towards a lot and this collection is done in collaboration with Christian Cohen. I do not know if I'm saying their name correctly but this is available only at Macy's. Okay so that's probably why I won't ever see this collection and whatnot because it's going to Macy's. None of these items are really things that I would go for. We're gonna go ahead and leave Smashbox for now and we're gonna move on to the next launch which is another holiday launch and this is from Ulta Beauty. So this is the Ulta Beauty collection holiday stuff and everything which Ulta Beauty like when it comes to their in-house brand and their holiday launches like they release a bunch of different stuff and everything and that's not even including Sweet and Shimmer. Sweet and Shimmer and I think Beauty Gems I I think those are like Ulta sub brands and everything like they're not like the Ulta brand per se but they're only like brands that you find at Ulta and they only come out during holiday. These range from 14 to 22 dollars. So the Ulta Beauty collection is gonna be like more so like a mid-range, like affordable to mid-range kind of price range, kind of similar to that of like NYX, but they don't get as expensive as NYX So None of these things are things that I'm interested in. If anything, I would probably get the brushes because I 
like brushes but I don't need any more brushes I have so many brushes now I'm getting to that point where it's just some, like I'm starting to want to get more brushes so that way I don't have to clean my brushes I'm starting to get in into that kind of mentality recently I've been noticing but I've been resisting the urge to do that because for one I'm broke so I need to save money and two that's just a lot to deal with. We have another holiday launch, and this is from Danessa Myricks, and this is the Lightwork 5 I Am Palette for eyes and face. So this is gonna be, I think it's all like shimmers and metallics, I believe. And this is gonna be similar to what they did last year, where they had like a big palette that they put out during holiday. And Thing. I don't think okay this does have the price point on it it's going to be $125 and before some of you guys start freaking out about the price point and everything this is going to have like your more like shifty multi-chrome kind of shades in there you're not just going to have like regular and like shimmers and metallics in here you're going to have like multi-chromes and duochromes particularly with the multi-chromes those are going to be really expensive to make the nearest Sephora to me that isn't a at Kohl's but like a freestanding store they only have but a shelf of Danessa Myricks and they don't even have that much and so I know that they're not going to get this palette but I would love to swatch these because they look so pretty they look so pretty I like I've never been the kind of person to ever want liquid eyeshadows but Danessa's liquid eyeshadows look so, so pretty. They look so stick and pretty. And I would love to have one because, like, they're just so pretty to look at. They're pigmented. They're shifty. They last a very long time. And it's just, I want one. I want one so bad. Like, I want the one that's like a blue to like purple and everything because it's just so pretty it's so so pretty we have a palette from Insley Brain and, and this is the Twisted Tea Party palette and this packaging stunning absolutely stunning it is so pretty it's so cute the color story in it is really interesting as well and I wonder if I got any swatches here. I do not. But the color story looks really pretty. The metallics look like they're going to be insane. I'm really intrigued by this. I don't think I would ever pick it up, per se. But it is definitely pretty. We have, I think maybe like one or two or three launches from Natasha Denona that we had in the month of October and this is going to be the mini trio chrome palette and this guy I am both intrigued by but I'm also like I don't think I'm gonna get it and whatnot but this is a extension of the trio chrome palette that she put out I think it was about a year or two ago. I can't remember when it was that she put it out, but it was a midi palette, I think. But this guy is gonna be just one of her regular standard mini palettes, which those mini palettes are really tiny, by the way. It'll be $27, which this does have, I think one multi-chrome in here. I think it's a multi-chrome or it's a duochrome. I cannot remember. Very cool tone, it's very bluey, which I'm not mad about. I do like blues and whatnot but I don't know if this would be something that I would go after and also I think that this is exclusive at Ulta and it's also a limited edition this would be something that I would need to see in person but the nearest Ulta that I know that carries Natasha Denona and I think the only Ulta that I know of like within the central Georgia area that carries Natasha Denona, I think is the store in Athens. Athens is about an hour away from me. I'm not going to drive an hour to go to Ulta when I can go 30 minutes in two different directions to get to an Ulta or I can drive 40 45 minutes to my hometown 
and go to an Ulta. Next up, we have a new launch from Truly. So Truly is a body care line. I've heard people say that their products are good, but I really don't know. I really don't know. Like their products just seem really gimmicky because like they have like a boob serum, they have like a butt polish, and then they have, I think the boob serum, I think it's called acai or boobies, I think is what it's called. And it comes in like a serum and I think there's also a butter for it too. I'm guessing that these are gonna be body sprays because they're described as perfume mists. So I'm guessing that they're gonna be body sprays, especially for like the price point. It just seems gimmicky because like we all see the big one in this photo set that I have here, um, the name for it, but we have Ma Cherie, which is going to be a um, fruity gourmand scent and the um, notes in it are gonna be in, like warm gourmands and black cherry. Okay, that's a really good descriptor right there for that. And we have glazed donut, which is gonna be toasted vanilla and buttercream. Lastly, we have the one that we see big and proud in this photo set here, and that is birthday sex. And it is rich jasmine and sweet saffron. Why is it that the one that I'm really curious about smelling, I already know I am not going to like, because I don't like jasmine most of the times. There are only but two fragrances that have come across that have jasmine in them that I actually like, and those are Indigo from Nest and the Gucci Flora Jasmine. Those are the only two fragrances that I have come across that have jasmine in them that I actually enjoy. Okay, so next up we have a launch from ColourPop, and this is the new Sailor Moon collection from them. They brought in a new Sailor Moon collection, and this is the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon collection. And this is so cute. It's like a more cool toned version of what they went for um, with the original collection that they did with Sailor Moon. The original collection they did was more warm toned. This one's definitely more cool toned. And it's really cute. It's pretty. It's not going to be anything I'm going to pick up, but it's again, cute and pretty. This next fragrance that we have here, I am extremely curious about. And this is from Moschino and this is Toy 2 Pearl. And I am very curious about this because I have tried Toy and then I have Toy Boy. I have a full size of Toy Boy. Toy Boy is my favorite cologne. Like that is a cologne that I wear when I want a man. That, it is so good. It smells so hot. It, it just smells like a hot man and I love it. I love it so, so much. I bought it from Ulta, like a travel from Ulta little over a year ago just on a whim along with the travel of toy and toy it was nice it was pretty but it wasn't my favorite thing but toy boy i like i said really loved but i bought them on a whim because the packaging alone because it's just like with the travel sizes it's just like a regular travel size tube and everything but you get the little teddy bear head and whatnot on the bottle and then there's also another one that's, I think it's like bubblegum scented. It's in a pink bottle. I don't know if it's still available or not. I think it might've been limited edition, but I never did try that one out. But this guy here, I think might also be limited edition. I'm not sure, it might be permanent. The scent notes on this one are gonna be, the top notes are lemon sorbet, lemon, salt, and oregano. And then the heart notes are gonna be jasmine, sand, and freesia. And then the base notes are going to be Cypress, Musk, and Vetiver. This sounds like something that I could get into. The Jasmine throws it off just a little bit. It makes me a little bit nervous. It's only going to be in Italy for the time being, but it's going to be hitting the rest of the world until sometime in 2024. But this bottle, this bottle though, is gorgeous it is gorgeous i love rainbow chrome it's really pretty next up we have another is it a holiday collection i don't know if it's a holiday collection but it's definitely a collab that none of us saw coming and that is the collaboration between charlotte tillery and elton john 
Yeah, I was not expecting this. This is the Rockstar collection. This is a cute little collection. I'm not gonna lie. The colors aren't really things that I would go for. I mean, I could probably do Rocket Girl. I, I don't need it. It's like so extra and just so out there and everything. Like I mentioned, Link, I don't think any of us saw Elton John doing a makeup collab and everything. So, I mean, yeah, he's in like one of the biggest gays within the music scene and everything but still it's just it's a bit odd for me next up we have lip oils from elf so they've launched some lip oils and it looks like they have maybe seven shades maybe i don't really know if i would get any of these if i were to get any of them it would just be the clear for me i don't use lip oils for like a makeup type of item i use them as like an alternative to lip balms because lip balms i just don't like how they get all like gunky and whatnot as you wear them because for me like i'm the type of person where i'm constantly inputting something on my lips because my lips are just so perpetually dry and whatnot like i've been using the tower 28 um chill gloss here for a while which i am almost am out of as you guys probably see and it's nice but it's not my favorite thing okay so next up we have a collection from trixie cosmetics and this is the horse girl collection i love the name of this collection so much it's just so dumb it's it's just wonderful. It's such a dumb name for a collection, but go off, sis. We have the Horse Girl palette. They have their first ever single blush. And there's a liquid lipstick. And yeah, that's everything that's in the collection here. There's also some like merch things that are going to be in the collection, but I just had the makeup stuff that's here. Um, yeah, it's a cute little palette cute little color story. I like that they have single blush now. I'm curious if they're going to start putting out more single blushes afterwards because I have been curious about the Trixie Cosmetics blush and highlighter formulas. It's just that I don't want to buy like those palettes and everything because I'm probably am ever going to only use but like maybe one blush and the highlighter. Maybe even the highlighters i might just wind up using but only about one shade in those palettes and that's that's a lot to do for like a face palette to only use but one product in it so i'm hoping that they might decide to start putting out singles for like their other blushes and highlighter all right so next up we have one of i think two glam light collections that we're going to touch on and i guess i'll move on to that second one after i touch on this one here this was the friday the 13th collection and this collection's got a lot of stuff going on with it it's an interesting little collection but none of the things in here are really calling out to me except for the candle i'm curious about the candle but the only reason why i'm curious about the candle is just simply because it's just like why is there a candle here <laughs> the nightmare on elm street collection now this one i'm actually i'm curious about some things in it I'm not interested in the blushes the palettes though i am curious about because i actually do kind of like the color stories on these palettes i love a good red eyeshadow moment everything i love me some reds when it comes to eyeshadows it is a bit gray as well which is the only thing that turns me off from it and whatnot i don't really care for gray eyeshadows and everything like i feel as if like once you have some grays you you have them all and everything but that green palette is just like so murky and grungy that it has me very very intrigued this is from nomad cosmetics and this is the nomad air collection and this is just really cute i wouldn't pick up anything from this but it's just a really cute collection i think i've also I've mentioned this before in the past but i'll mention it again just in case if you might be new here but i probably can't even use nomad cosmetics eyeshadows why not because i remember years ago i don't know if they changed the formula since then but i know years ago i found out that they formulate their eyeshadows with argan oil and i am allergic 
to Argan Oil. In this collection, they have decided to start dabbling into the world of skincare because they have the Weightless Hydration Face Cream, the Multipurpose Lip Salve, and a Refreshing Face Mist. They also have the Travel Eyeshadow Palette. There's also the Tote Bag, which you can get it free when you purchase the entire collection. It's not gonna be anything that I would pick up even if I was able to use the brand, I wouldn't pick it up, but it is really cute. All right, so the next bit of stuff that we have here is from Tatcha, and this is their holiday launch. They got a bunch of different skin sets that they're putting out this year. We have the Plump and Dewy Skin Trio, the Clarified and Balanced Trio, the Serum Discovery Trio, the Hydration Obento, the Day and Night Moisture Duo, the Prime and Glow Trio, the Kissing Lip Mask Duo, the Indigo Cleansing Duo, and the Indigo Cleansing Cloth, which that one is the cheapest item in this launch of products made at $22. Now for me, I'm, I'm so torn on this because I would definitely love, love to possibly pick up maybe one or two of these sets. But the thing is, though, aside from me being broke, my favorite products that I've tried from Tatcha have been the dewy skin items, but my skin has adjusted to them. So they no longer work the way that they properly should on me anymore, which just makes me so sad because uh, they're just such nice little products. But also these sets are like so expensive. I would wait till like after holiday to try to get them at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something like that because that's what I did a few years ago. No, it was, when was it? It was at the beginning of last year. I found two of their holiday sets at Marshalls for like 30 bucks each when they were originally like 80 bucks each. This next launch, I am very excited about. This is the new launch from Lunar Beauty and I'm gonna have two separate images up for you guys so that way you guys can actually see um certain products from this collection better. This is the Siren Sunset collection and I want this palette so badly like the swatch post that Trend Mood has does not do this justice and everything which I think they're like the official swatches from the brand too but like the swatches that Manny did in his video with announcing this palette do the colors in this palette so much more justice than like the actual legit swatches that the brand has this palette is so pretty this palette is so pretty I I want this palette so 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 badly and I'm pretty sure that this is like a permanent palette within their line. I know the liquid lipsticks that are in this collection are limited edition which makes me a bit sad because I really love this shade Sailor but I know I'm not gonna have the means to be able to get it in time before it probably sells out and is gone forever because I love like a good like grungy taupey grayish kind of color i want that color so so badly i want that shade so so badly but i can settle for just a palette though and this palette is a little bit more expensive than their typical palettes usually are it's 55 dollars normally their palettes usually go in around 48 dollars i think but this one is more expensive because I think there are one or two multi-chromes in this palette and there are also like some duo chromes in here too. In the packaging on it, it's just, oh god, I just love everything about this palette. I, I need it. I need it in my life. If there are any glucose guardians out there that are watching this and want to get me this palette, I will like send you nudes or whatever you need me to do like give me this palette <laughs> all right so next up we have the new holiday collection from lys which lys is a brand that i really do like i've only have tried a handful of their items i've tried their um foundation which i love the triple fix serum foundation is stunning amazing love it 
and I also have tried one of their cream blushes. I have the shade Kindness. Again, love it. Such a good formula. I want to try out more of their cream blushes and I just might pick up their cream blush trio for this year because they had one last year but I never got around to picking it up but they got one again this year and it's going to be $20 I think. I already have it on my Sephora wish list already and I would love to have that in my collection because it is again stunning but they have several other items in their holiday collection this year so they have the speak love two-piece lip treatment oil and matte lipstick set liquid lipstick set which i didn't know that they had liquid lipsticks i'm definitely i'm curious about trying those out um there's a berry a mauve and a beige nude um the berry shade i probably won't ever use but i might could use the nude and the mauve. Lastly, there is the um, Complete Confidence 5-piece uh, Full Face Rhinestone Brush Set. I'm curious about that liquid lip formula, and again, I want more of their cream blushes because I really like the formula on it. The only issue that I have with the cream blushes that they have in this trio, though, is that I don't really know if I'm going to use all three. I know I'll probably use the middle shade, but I don't know if I'll use like the lightest shade and I most definitely probably won't use the berry shade. But I don't know. I don't know. I'll I'll find out. I'll probably wind up getting this set like after holiday. Another launch from Natasha Denona and I mentioned this earlier and this is the Xenon Midi palette. Not mini, midi palette. So with Natasha Denona she has her regular palettes and then she has her midi palettes which are going to have the same amount of shadows as her regular palettes but they're going to be a lot smaller in size and then you have the mini palettes but they're also the regular like the full size five pan palettes and then you have the mini five pan palettes too so yeah her her things are a bit confusing she released the mini i think it was about a year or two ago and this one here this just seems way too repetitive to me like there's only so much that you can do with like black white and gray and this did not need a full-size palette it did not need a full-size palette especially considering that she just put out another like cool tone palette that i need a nude palette that was a very cool tone palette you just put that palette out and now you're putting out this one like it just seems redundant in my opinion i hate this i hate this so much this is the madonna celebration tour makeup collection in collaboration with jared blandino and if you don't know who that crusty little plastic face bitch is, he's the guy who created Too Faced. If you weren't able to pick up by my introduction of him, I do not like that little sausage. I wish that Madonna would have collaborated with anybody but him, but here we are. I don't even know what that crossing is. Is it a mirror? Is it a tag? I don't fucking know. Is it an ornament? I don't know. That's the only thing that's like piquing my interest. And I don't even think you can even purchase the damn thing. Yeah, and like that highlighter, that highlighter is horrific. That is horrid, absolutely horrid packaging. Just, I hate this. I hate this. Moving on. Next up, we have the second part of um, Melt's Nightmare Before Christmas collection. Um, and this is the Christmas Town collection. And in here, I think we basically have like the same kind of products that were in the Halloween Town collection. Now this palette, I do like the color story on it. This is a nice little color story. I like the combination of the purples and the greens and the pops of red in there. I think I like this one a lot better than I like the Halloween Town one. Now would I pick up anything else from this collection? Probably not. Um, but I do like the color story on this palette. Like I said, a lot better than Halloween Town. I also love the bag. The bag is so cute. Okay, so these next two items, they're from the same brand, but they're two different releases and they're two candles. And this is from Heretic. Which I've been curious about this brand because um, I saw an ad. I don't think I have it on here, but I saw it. I've been seeing an ad on like Facebook and Instagram for like a fragrance that they put out called Poltergeist. 
I don't know what's going on over there with that, but okay, go off sis. We're not gonna talk about it here in this video. This first one here is called Dirty Santa. The packaging on the the box packaging for this is just what is happening here? <laughs> what is happening here? I don't know anything about this brand. I am confused and curious. Hickory, pine, warm clove, oak moss, and a bit of leather. I actually could probably get into that because I do like leathery scents. I could probably get into that. But the thing that caught my attention the most is the box packaging on this next one from them. This is dirty gingerbread. What the fuck is going on with this box packaging? What is going on with this kinky little gingerbread man? Like, Gingy, what happened to you after Shrek? He's even got pierced nipples. Like, what the fuck is happening here? <laughs> Oh my god, like, I want this one just for the box packaging alone. Oh my god, but let's see what the scent description is on it. It's gonna be burnt sugar, um, Madagascar vanilla, uh, ginger, and black pepper. There's also warm cloves, nutmeg, and tonka bean. And it's gonna have like a bit of that um, leatheriness to it. Ooh, I might like this one too. And both of these candles are gonna be $44. Hmm, I'm, I might have to keep my eye out for these guys and everything. I might have to put these onto a list for like people to like buy me things for like Christmas this year. Cause man, I mostly just want this dirty gingerbread just for the box alone. Like, like, I just want the box <laughs> and everything. <laughs> like, that box is everything. This is the Cursed Cosmetics and Motionless in White collection. For those of you who don't know, Motionless and White are a metalcore band. They've been around for a very, very long time. I've known about them since, I think, maybe, like, 2010? 2010? Was that when Creatures was released? When was Creatures released? Because I was in high school when I started listening to this band. They're not really my thing and everything. I am very, very particular when it comes to metalcore bands. And yeah, yeah it was released in um, 2010. Um, but yeah, they're like a very like spooky metalcore band. Although their sound did shift with this particular album. And I mean, it's been shifting over the years in general and whatnot as they become like more and more mainstream and whatnot. Like their earlier stuff like are gonna be one of those people like their earlier stuff is so heavy. It's the heaviest stuff that they put out. Now they just do rock music. I'm not gonna be that crotchety, but here I am. There's the palette, there's a eyeliner kit, and then a black liquid lipstick in this collection. This collection isn't really anything for me. The color story in the palette, it's just not for me. And the packaging on it is just really strange to me. It, it's just, it's just not for me. It's not for me. I mean, it's got some nice colors in there, but it, I get, like I keep saying, it's just not for me. Second to last thing we're gonna to touch on is the Pretty Grunge collection from Huda Beauty. And in here we have the Pretty Grunge palette um, and then some limited edition products. We have a um, blush gloss and it's just your skin pH and everything. One of those kinds of products. As you can tell from my eyes, I don't give a shit about these kinds of things. Um, then there is a limited edition black liquid lipstick, which I haven't tried their liquid lip formula, but I have heard things about it. And then there is the um, silk lipstick, silk balm, and lip contour 2.0. And then lastly, there is a lip quad that has um, four travel size liquid matte lipsticks. This is a cute little grunging taupey gray toned collection and whatnot which the palette i kind of like it i do kind of like the palette i'm not gonna lie because it's got some like pinkier tones and like the like that grungy pinky kind of tone to it but do i really need it though i don't need it if i see it in person i want to see it let me see this collection in person and I'll be able to develop a better opinion on it. But as of right now, I'm just like, it looks okay. 
but it's probably not going to be for me once I actually see it in person. And the last launch that we have here today is one that I'm very curious about and I just heard about this this morning and everything when I was making sure that I have everything on this list ready to go for me filming this video. But Lush has a collection coming out at Ulta. And this is like a bunch of different sets that they have that are coming out at Ulta and they're already available. I checked the Ulta website this morning and they're already available at Ulta. And it's just these sets. Like you can't get like regular individual Lush items there, but you can get these sets though, which is just wild to me because I never thought that Lush would ever come into Ulta. I would always just assume that Lush would just stay at, well, Lush. Cause I mean, they have their own stores and everything. But I could see how this can benefit the brand though, because like it could probably save them a little bit of money by closing um, some of their brick and mortar stores and just going into Ulta stores. But again, these are just sets that we have here. And these are the only items that are available at Ulta from Lush and everything. I'm really curious about how that's going to go and everything, because that's a very interesting find and everything that Lush is going into Ulta now. Like, are, is the entire brand going in or are they just gonna be doing these sets? I'm not entirely sure. Nearly two hours later and I am finally done with this particular video. I'm tired. I gotta start getting ready for work. I gotta leave here in 45 minutes and I need, I need to eat lunch, get dressed and everything. So it's gonna be a rush to get ready today but that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it have you guys tried out anything that i talked about today or are you interested in any of the things that i talked about today or are you roasting and anti-hauling some of these things like i did today again let me know in the comments below and until i see you guys in my next video whenever that might be goodbye